Namaste everyone, my name is Shrikant Rangar and in this video we will continue our discussion on the Steffenbach assembly. We have already done the body and the gland and in this video we will be covering the bush, stud and the nut. Let us begin. So I have to choose a new file here of part type, click OK. Make the common changes, the units, the visibility of planes. Now you can see the bushing looks somewhat like this. I will create it in a single step using the cross section and revolving it about a central axis. So we will have to start with the front plane, go to sketch, create a geometry starting at this point, vertical line, slant line, straight down, horizontal line, straight down, close it. I will also need a center line here about which we have to revolve it. Next I will use the dimensions option to give the dimensions. I will start with this point, 42 diameter, then this one, 33, this one, that is 24, then the height which is 15 and this length here that is 6 then I will press escape and drag this down a bit the angle of this we need it to be 15 with respect to the horizontal so take dimension select this then select a horizontal line and choose angle of 15 you can see the whole diagram is now black which means it is completely constrained now come out of the sketch Select the sketch, go to features and revolve base. You can see that it is revolving correctly. If something for some reason if it is not coming correctly then you have to open the contours, select this, then select the contour and axis needs to be selected properly. Click OK. Save it. The next part that we need is a stud. So let us go ahead, take a new file, part, ok, make the basic changes with the units and the visibility. I will once again use revolve option to create the stud. So select the front view, go to sketch, create the cross section, the straight line, straight here, straight here. Down, then straight line up to exactly here. Okay, straight down, close it. Now, this line here will of course need a line here, and that line we will just convert it into the construction geometry. Now, I can use the dimensions option to give proper dimensions. The diameter of this has to be 12. Same goes here. This diameter has to be 24. Then coming to the heights, the total height from this point to this point is 90. The bottom one is measuring 15. Then this height here is 5. That's it. You can see the whole diagram has become black which means it is properly constrained. At the top and bottom we need to be making it, um, we need to make it around a bit. So I'll just uh, go ahead and take an arc, center point arc, keep the center here somewhere on this axis starting with this point, create a round part. Okay, it has got created in the other side. Let's try once again. Select the center here, start at this point and instead of creating this side of arc, we need to create this side of arc. The same we have to do on the other side. Since the radius of that has not been given, we can just keep it randomly at some point. Go ahead, take the arc again, 
so starting with center here on the axis click here the first point you don't need the arc on this side you need it here once the arc is created take a line command join this point end of the arc to this point again end of the arc now just to avoid confusion select this horizontal line make it construction line same do it on the other side now our cross section is ready along with the center line about which you have to rotate it if some parts are appearing blue check how it is changing fine so the radius have not changed it hence it is appearing like that uh oh so there is a line here as well which is not constrained properly select that line and the axis line by pressing control and from the option here choose collinear now you can see it has completely turned black now you can come out of the sketch select the sketch go to features and revolve if you can see uh, it has not come properly so just have to click on this option the axis line has been selected uh, automatically if that doesn't happen again you have to open these two and select them properly so select the geometry and the axis line axis line has to be on this side right so now you can see the stud has been created properly so save it again with a different name lastly we have to create nuts so again take a new file part okay make those primary changes change the units make the datum planes visible now I'll again start with the top view go to sketch create a hexagon now this uh, the size of the threading is m12 so the size of the nut will be two times of that and that will be 24 create a circle at the center and the whole of that needs to be slightly smaller than m12 or else you can just make it 12 diameter as well no problem once these two are drawn okay it's still blue so drag and see what's happening select this and the front plane by pressing control when both are selected you will get coincide option here selected now you can see it is completely black so it is constrained come out of the sketch select the sketch go to feature extrude the height by which you have to extrude uh, you can choose it depending on what is required I will just go with 12 now coming for the chamfer I will have to select this face create a sketch create a circle you can align it if you need to create a circle that is tangential to one of the edges even after creating it properly it may not come uh, it may not have the constraint to be tangent so in that case select the circle and the edge by pressing control you will get the option of tangent here on the left once the circle is created properly go to features extruded cut choose the draft option select this to 45 or 30 degrees flip the side to cut and then click ok so you can see that has now created a chamfer neat and tidy for the nut save this So we have created all the parts necessary for the stuffing box. In the next video, we will see how to assemble them together. Thank you.